Hello and welcome back. If you haven't viewed the previous videos in this series, welcome. If you are new to developing forms, I suggest you view the earlier presentation. Doing so just might help you to better understand form development. I begin by showing you the form you and I are going to develop. InfoPath has two parts so to speak. One is InfoPath Designer, the other is the filler. Currently you are viewing the Designer module. Designer allows us to develop the form. The second component, InfoPath Filler, is the part end users use to fill in the form. In our case, users will use MS Office 365 SharePoint site to fill in and submit the form. So let's show you the filler. If we click the preview button, we open InfoPath Filler. We are shown a security message because the form links to a SharePoint list. In this instance, it's safe for me to click yes. If you decide not to develop a browser form, you have two other choices. One is email, the second requires users to install InfoPath Filler onto their device. The software allows recipients to fill in our form and then submit the completed form. So you may be asking, why am I showing you the filler if our objective is to develop a SharePoint form? As we develop our form, we will at various stages want to test our development and InfoPath is perfect for this. We wouldn't want to publish an untested form and have our audience complain about functionality. Let's take a moment to view the ribbon. Note users have fewer buttons, options etc. What is offered is all the user needs to fill in the form. Reverting back to designer, the developer rather naturally has many more buttons and options. If you use MS Office regularly, the ribbon will be familiar to you. If you look to the right of the screen, you will see a task pane called Fields. I urge you to keep this open. During development, we will be using this task pane a great deal.